the thumb walking, thumb inside first exercise. Now what I'd like to do is show you from the side angle. That was straight down, right? So we were closer and we were right here, straight down. So now I want to turn it a little bit to the side. Like this is the middle of the leg and this is the side of the leg. And we want to move the energy down and into the body. Down and into the body. So here, down and into the body. So now the shoulder is going to play an important role here. In shoulder is up and then shoulder comes down and body goes in. So shoulder down, body in. Almost like you're making a like a motorcycle. So from right here, I'll start at this end, and then what I'll do is I'll also hold with my foot like I'm stabilizing the ankle. This is good practice. If it's too difficult, you can just hold with your hands. But if you can start to practice the foot, I can double thumb, and then one thumb space down and in, and hold. Shoulder and body, go and hold. Shoulder moves down, and body moves in, and hold. Again, try to make it continuous. Down and in, and see how my body moves. Try not to skip. Basically, using my body to thumb. And when I move over too far, I need to move my body down a little bit. Down and in, down and in, down and in, down and in, and then walk. Now this hand is leading, left hand, down and in, so you'll see my left shoulder working down and in, down and in, down and in, down and in, down and in. Stay on the line, down and in. Down in, that's it. And then when you get too far, you need to move your body over. Down in, down in, down in, down in, down in, down in, down in and the last, down and in. And double them. Okay? That's the second exercise thumb down, thumb walking with thumb down technique, okay? And the thumb doesn't have to be perfectly down. You can basically make it like 45 degrees is just as good. So let's say I double thumb here, and then from right here I leave one thumb space here, and I cover here to close the distance there between the two thumbs, okay? So there will be a very small little hole between your two thumbs. If you can, the third exercise is easier because now you get a chance to sit flat. We're going to go from sitting up at this position. This is more like approaching at like 75 degrees. And then now when we sit down lower, it's almost like approaching at 45 degrees. So now we're going to go with like, like this was the top of the leg, the top corner, and this is now the side of the leg. So again, we're going to hold the leg. We're going to double thumb. This is exercise three, which is thumb down, but now we're sitting. And more to the side, down and in. So now the shoulder plays an important role, but also how we rock still plays a role. Down and in, and walk. And it's the same thing as the last exercise, basically working with your shoulder, but it's more subtle what happens here. You have to move a little bit more on your foot and make power from this direction. Like you're going into the side of the leg. Yeah? So you work all the way up to, here I'm just doing it fast, don't work at this speed. Go a little bit 
bit slower or more consciously and move with your leg. So you get to the top, then you work back down, same thing, the left one goes in. And use your body. Try to keep open. My power is coming from here. Down and in, down and in, down and in, down and in. All the way. And adjust your body position. Down and in, down and in, down and in. And at the end, again, do a double. Okay?